Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. So we have a really fun Kundalini Yoga career today. It works specifically on the colon, on eliminating and releasing any toxins. So it's a very cleansing, clearing career. And it's one of those very interesting Kundalini Yoga careers that brings an extra ingredient. And the ingredient is 12 ounces of prune juice. So if like me, you don't have any prune juice in the house, just have some water nearby. You can use that as well. If you have any prunes, you might want to take six or seven prunes to have with you for this career and next time you're in your health food shop you might, might want to pick up some prune juice and try this career again with the prune juice handy so let's bring our palms together give them a good rub bring your premudra into the heart center nice tall spine take a deep inhale keep that length as you exhale fully inhale lifting the heart exhaling dropping the shoulders down and we'll inhale to tune in. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Om Namo Sat gore na me, sat gore na me, gore na me, sat gore na me, sat gore na me, na me, Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in and invite your higher self to guide you through this colon cleanser today. Protecting you and guiding you and keeping you safe from injury. Exhaling, relaxing the hands to the knees, Gyan Mudra index fingers touching thumbs. And just allow those mantras to settle into the body, to bring you into presence. And we're going to start straight in with our Kundalini Yoga Kriya, the colon cleanser. We bring our palms together, lock the thumbs over each other, and we hold our uh, prayer mudra strong in front of the right shoulder. Now we're going to open the mouth, stick out the tongue, and it's a breath of fire across the tongue. So that's our panting breath. And as we do this, as we do this panting breath, this breath of fire, we're just going to start to twist the body from left to right. Good. So your eyes are closed and rolled up and into the Ajna. That's the third eye chakra that sits just above the eyebrows in the center of the forehead. Good. Keep your chin tucked in. Keep your mouth open. Keep the tongue as far out as you can. Extend it as far out as it will go. That will help you to detoxify. Good, and we're holding our mudra, our premudra strong in front of the right shoulder as we move, as we twist, as we go deep into the colon, we go deep into the lower digestive tract to release, start to release, to shake up, to move about any stagnant energy in there. Good, if this breath of fire feels a little bit too strong for you, if it's perhaps your first time doing it, Keep the tongue out, but make it a long, slow, deep breath, but continue to move fast, strong, fast and strong with this little twisting motion that just starts to warm up the colon, warm up the intestinal tract. And if you want to increase that warmth, keep the navel in. <laughs> Good, so you've got a nice active core with this breath of fire or with this long, slow, deep breathing. And that strong core intensifies the little pump that generates with this breath of fire or with your long, slow, deep breath. Good, 
feel the breath hitting the back of the tongue, really starting to detoxify, to release through the breath. Now come into the center with a tall spine, take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more bund. That means you're squeezing the anus and sex organs. You're pulling the navel in. You're feeling, sensing, imagining the energy moving from tailbone all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. Chin tucks in, squeeze, lift that energy up, 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 hold it. And exhale, relax and release the hands to the knees. Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs and come immediately into that state of witness, into that state of presence. So you're just observing the state of the mind, the state of the body. You're observing where your attention is drawn to. And that might be in the abdomen where you've just started to increase a little bit of tapas or heat, that transformative energy that we use in our yoga practice. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good. Now we bring our hands into Venus Mudra, interlacing the fingers, and we're holding our hands above the head in a halo. And we're going to start swaying from left to right, going as deep into this sway as possible. The breath is not specified. You can breathe how you want to breathe, but you might want to inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Take it as it comes. Nice, full, deep breath. That's it, good. Now the eyes are closed, rolled up and into the Ajna, to the third eye point. And again, you want to keep your navel in. You want to keep your, your core engaged. You're pulling your belly in towards the spine. Not only does this help to protect the lower back, but it also helps to intensify that massage on the colon. That's it, you're doing really well. So you're keeping your eyes closed and roll up and into the Ajna to the third eye point. You're keeping your navel in and you're making this stretch as deep as you can. So you're really bringing that bottom rib down to the top of the hip bone, opening up through the waist, crunching down through the opposite side of the waist. Get that stretch as deep as you possibly can. If your arms start to feel a bit tired, holding up above the head, just rest them on the crown of the head, but keep the uh, sh uh, armpits open. This is a lovely detoxification for the body. We're opening up, we're releasing toxins, and the deeper you can breathe, the more effective this detoxification will be. Feel it toning the waist, stretching open the ribs. Come into the center now with a long spine. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns, stretch tall through the spine, stretch that energy up, hold it, squeeze it, engage and exhale, float the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra. And again, bear witness. Just observe the unfolding of this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. It releases a lot of toxins, it releases a lot of old stuck energy, and that sometimes shows up for us in quite uncomfortable thoughts or emotions. Just stay present with it. Even if you're not experiencing those, stay present with whatever is true for you in this moment. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. 
good. Now we're going to extend our arms straight out. The hands are really loose on the wrists and we're just going to start to kind of shake our arms about while keeping them at that 60 degree angle. You want to keep your hands really heavy. So you're just flopping the hands up and down on the wrists and the breath is long, slow and deep through the nose. Eyes are closed, rolled up and into the ajna and you're shaking up those nadis, those energy channels in the arms. Of course, we have energy channels all through the body and these ones that were opening up in the arms corresponding with the stomach, with the digestive system. So keep it going, keep shaking, even when it starts to feel like a challenge in the shoulders, that's when you need to use your breath. That's when the energy channels are starting to open up, the energy is starting to move, it's not necessarily comfortable. So breathe, breathe deep through the nose. That's it, you're doing really well. Stay with it, keep flapping, keep opening and breathe, breathe deep. Get through it, that's it and freeze take a deep inhale hold that breath in squeeze small bund lengthen through the spine raise that energy up uplift that's it squeeze hold exhale float hands down to knees gyan mudra now you will really feel that energy starting to release stay present with it this Kundalini Yoga Kriya is great. It works all the energetic system as well as the, uh, the physical digestive system. It's a detoxification on many levels of our being, not just the physical. Stay present with whatever arises for you. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good, we've got our hands and fists now. We're finding that uh, indentation where the, uh, the line, where the hips meet the thighs or the thighs meet the hips. And we're going to start to alternately pummel into that place. You can move it around a little bit as long as you've got that general uh, place of the hips meeting the thighs. Now we've got our mouth open again and we've got our tongue sticking out again and it's our breath of fire. <laughs> Good, as we pummel and pummel and pummel that place where the uh, hips meet the thighs. <laughs> Spine is long, chin tucks in, eyes rolled up and into the third eye point to the ajna. Get that tongue sticking out as far as it will go. Feel the breath hitting the back of the tongue. <laughs> That's it, detoxify, release, get right down into the base of the colon, into where you're holding some quite old unprocessed stuff, perhaps. <laughs> Not only undigested food matters, but also unprocessed emotions, unprocessed reactions and thoughts. <laughs> Bring the hands into those uh, lines between the hips and the thighs. Take a deep inhale through the nose. <sighs> Hold that breath in, squeeze Mulband. Raise that energy up through the spine, lengthen tall through the spine as you stretch up into the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift up tall. And exhale, relax, release the hands to the knees in Gyan Mudra. And just observe. Staying very present with this process of today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya, the colon cleanser. And taking a deep inhale. And exhale fully. Good. Now we're holding on to opposite. Um, uh, upper arms just above the elbows and we're inhaling clapping the hands to the top of the upper arms exhaling clapping them down to the bottom so it's inhaling up exhaling down good it's a fast and heavy movement that's it and the eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point nice little pressure point massage 
to really get the digestive system working at its optimum efficiency. That's it, keep it going. Keep the movement heavy. Keep that nice tapping rhythmic movement and breath. Hypnotizing the ego mind, hypnotizing the chattering mind so you can move beyond it, so you can rise above it. So when it starts to resist, when you start to perhaps feel this as a little bit of uncomfortable uh, muscular pain or, or, or stiffness, you can really push through it. That's it, make it automatic, make it rhythmic, make it so compelling that you just have to lock into that breath, lock into that rhythm, lock into that movement, no matter what. Again, notice your resistances, notice your tendencies, perhaps not wanting to follow through on these challenges when they get a little uncomfortable, but rise above them, teach yourself to breathe through it, to rise through it. That's it, you're doing really well. Stay steady, keep your eyes locked into the Ajna and go through it, go through this process. You're cleansing, you're releasing, you're setting yourself free. Inhaling, hands onto the top of the upper arms. Holding that breath in as you squeeze more buns, stretch tall through the spine, squeeze tight through the pelvic floor, chin tucks in, energy raises all the way up through the spine, lift and exhale, float hands to knees, Gyan Mudra. And just observe. Staying very present with this process. This awakening. This liberation from your past. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Good. Now we're going to turn our palms over. You're holding onto your knees and it's inhaling forward, exhaling back in a spinal flex. This is a fast spinal flex. Keep the navel really strong. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Good. As fast as you can go. Obviously, if that is uncomfortable for your lower back, slow it right down. If your lower back is feeling strong, keep your navel in, pulled in tight and go for it. That's it. You want a really intense massage on the colon, on the lower digestive tract. Good, keep it going, keep it strong, keep the breath powerful. Eyes at the third eye. Inhale to the center. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through Mulban. Raise that energy up through the spine. Hold it, squeeze, lift up tall, stretch. And exhale, relax and release. Turn the palms to face up. Touch index fingers to thumbs, Gyan Mudra. Feel that flush of energy. As we refine ourselves on a physical level, so we refine our consciousness. As we release these old toxins, these old unprocessed moods and emotions, so too we can lift ourselves to higher levels of awareness. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. 
good we've got our arms out to the sides now palms facing forward on the inhale we're crossing the uh, arms uh, wrists above the head exhaling out inhaling up to cross exhaling out and it's alternate crosses forwards and then back up and down with the breath <sighs> That's it, good. Keep the spine strong, keep the elbows locked. You want nice straight arms as you clear and cleanse and purify whatever might have been released into the aura during this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Really releasing any last residues of whatever we can release today, whatever the body is ready to let go of. This is our time to clear it, to cleanse it, to polish it out of our system, both physical and energetic. <laughs> If this is not accessible for you with your shoulders, with your arms, there's always the possibility of imagining that you're doing it. So even if the physical aspect of it is impossible for you today, then just imagine that you're doing this, that you're waving the arms above the head, crossing the wrists, and with a powerful breath, keep it going. <laughs> Inhale up, hold that breath, squeeze more buns, stretch up tall, lift, hold, squeeze. And exhale, float the hands down to the knees, to Gyan Mudra on the knees. And just observe, you'll really feel that energy uplifting now. You'll feel this transformation as you release the old and step into the new. Deep inhale and exhale fully. Now take a deep inhale. Hold the breath and we're going to pump the belly. Pump in and out with the breath held in. As long as you can hold the breath and we'll exhale. And then we'll take another inhale for one more round. And we'll hold that breath in as we pump the belly. Hold the breath in as you pump the belly in and out from uh, towards the spine and release. And exhale. And let's do it one more time, just for good measure. Deep inhale. Hold that breath in and last time now. Pump, 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 pump the belly. Pump, 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 really get into the colon. Pump, 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 pump. pump and exhale good and now it is time to drink your water or to drink your prune juice or to eat your prunes and if you are eating your prunes <laughs> make sure you have some water as well just to help to flush them through just to really help this kriya process and it's always good practice with kundalini yoga to drink plenty of water especially after a kriya which is often very releasing so now we're going to inhale the arms up to the right, hold it here for a second, exhale down to the left, hold it here for a second, inhale arms up and right, twist to the right, hold, exhale twist and down to the left, hold, inhale up to the right, exhale down to the left. Eyes at the Ajna. Helping that prune juice or that water or those prunes and glass of water move through the system. Inhaling up and right, exhaling down and left. Keep the navel strong, keep the belly pulling in. as if you're carrying something from up to down, from the upper right to the lower left. <sighs> 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 
Inhale up. Hold that breath in, squeeze more buns, stretch up through the spine, hold the posture, arms stretch up to the right. And exhale, relax the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra, just feel that in the body. Now we're going to bring our hands to rest again, holding on to uh, the upper arms just above the elbows, so the arms are crossed above the chest and the spine is straight, nice and tall. The chin tucks in, the eyes at the Ajna. And we're going to start to chant the mantra Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Deva. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Deva. in as you squeeze more bond raise that energy up lift yourself up into your higher self and exhale relax and release the arms we'll come to sitting in rock pose today shavasana is actually in baby pose so if baby pose is comfortable for you you want to relax in the shavasana uh, sit on rock, sit in rock pose, fold over the thighs, forehead to the floor. If the forehead doesn't comfortably reach the floor, stack your fists and rest your forehead on your fists. If baby pose is not comfortable for you, rest in on your belly for the Shavasana. So if you're in baby pose, your arms are alongside the body and you're breathing really deep into the belly. And in this baby pose, in this shavasana, in this long relaxation, we are just sealing this massage, a soothing massage on the colon, on the lower digestive tract. And with this uh, breath into the belly, we encourage any last residues of any toxicity 
whether that's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's mental or psychic, whatever it is that we're holding in our colon, we're releasing that into the earth where it's neutralized. Of course, if this baby pose is uncomfortable for you at any point, we won't be staying here for very long, but you can always come out and lie on your belly. And the same concept applies, you're breathing into the belly, which massages deep into the lower intestine, just releasing and relaxing any tension, any last residues that we can let go of today. And if lying on your belly feels too uncomfortable, of course, there's the option of lying flat on the back and you can just relax here in silence for another 30 seconds or so, just really integrating your practice today, allowing yourself to fully release, relax and surrender. And I'll be here to guide you out of your practice on the other side. We've got quite a noisy hailstorm happening outside. So that's the comforting sound to today's Shavasana. And taking a deep inhale, exhaling fully, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, gently lifting yourself up and come all the way up to sitting with your legs stretched out in front. And we're going to just reach and grab onto our big toes with our two piece fingers and our thumbs. And if you can't reach the big toes, just grab onto your shins or your thighs. Take a deep inhale and we'll exhale forward and down. And inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhaling up and exhaling down. Hold it here for a few moments. And gently inhaling, walking your way back up to sitting in easy pose. Hands in Premudra, give them a good rub. Bring your Premudra to the heart center and we'll take a deep inhale to chant Satnam, close our practice. Satnam. Bring the palms to the floor, allow the forehead to bow down as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to your body and mind and breath for bringing you to this kundalini yoga practice today and coming back into the room whenever you feel ready satnam thank you so much for joining me today it's a true honor and a pleasure to share this kundalini yoga practice with you if you liked it please do click like if you'd like to see more please do subscribe there's plenty more to share and i wish you a very beautiful day lots of love satnam